Hello, I'm Michael Blevins, the redhead known as RunX. I'm a senior principal engineer in the technology leadership career path at Optum. Man, I've done it again. I've neglected my channel. I had some high priority work projects come up in the last few months, and this will be my first episode of 2021. I'm going to be reducing the friction you face for secret storage using automation. I've previously shared five different ways to securely store your secrets using Azure Key Vault in a couple of videos that you can view over here. The fifth way was using Terraform, and now I want to automate that. Stick around for a little Azure DevOps pipeline automation. Mom's the word. Many of you have heard of or used Azure Pipelines. I'm going to start out this episode with a quick rundown of Azure Pipelines, then I'll create a pipeline to securely inject a secret into Terraform before the infrastructure is created in Azure, putting the secret to rest in the vault. Azure Pipelines are a part of Azure DevOps and it drives the continuous integration and continuous delivery of projects. The pipelines are flexible and the choice of either using a graphical user interface or the more modern YAML pipeline as code. For the first part of this demo, I'm going to build a pipeline using the graphical user interface that will take our secret, inject it into the Terraform script, and then deploy the infrastructure securely to Azure. For the second part of the demo, I'm gonna do the exact same thing, only I'm gonna use the YAML pipeline. Okay, on to the demo. I'm excited to share with you how we're gonna do this. We're going to go into Azure DevOps. We're going to select new pipeline and use the classic editor. I'm going to select GitHub because I've already got a repo out there, which I'm going to provide the name. It automatically is selecting my main branch. I'm going to click on continue. I'm going to start with an empty job. And one of the things you'll notice is it pre-populates everything. One of them is the Git sources, which I'm going to cover right now, which has the Terraform scripts that I used in previous episode with a slight modification to automate in this episode. In here, I'm gonna go ahead and add tasks. And the task I wanna search for is Terraform. And I'll add the tool installer and add three of the Terraform tasks. The install Terraform is basically getting our environment or our agent set up to be able to use Terraform. The next one we're going to do is the initialization of Terraform itself. And to do that, I'm going to go ahead and select a subscription I've already configured. And I will select the Marvel resource group along with the Terraform demo store using the Terraform state container. I'll go ahead and populate the key. And what this is doing is basically telling Terraform, hey, I, I want to set this up to use Azure as our backend, and here's how we're going to configure it and where you need to store your state. The next piece we're going to do is hop in here and change this to a plan. So this task is going to do our plan. Again, we'll set up our specific subscription, but this time we have some command line arguments that we need to supply. And these command line arguments basically are going to tell Terraform what variables we need to use. In particular, we're telling it we're using a resource group for Marvel. Uh, the key vault that we want to use is Avengers 5 and various other variables such as the subscription, the principal, the password, things that are required. One of them that really sticks out here is the variable strongest Avenger. And it has a variable that we're going to set within Azure DevOps. So we'll go through and do that right now. By doing that, we need to go into variables where we'll set up our pipeline variable. I'm going to say add TF var strongest Avenger. And then in here, this is the, the really important piece of what we're doing. We need to set the secret 
but we need to select the lock so it is stored as a secret. So in here we'll put in our secret. And one other piece, we have those other variables. I don't want to go through and have to set up each of these because this is something that we would do more frequently. I actually have already set up a variable group. I can select that variable group, which is Azure Key Vault Demo Group. I'll go ahead and link that here. Drill in so you can see what I actually have set up in the library. And you'll see that we've got TF var, the password principal, subscription ID, tenant ID, and user principal ID. Those things are required and we're passing them in the command line in which we need to do on our next command, which is validate and apply. So we need to again put in those variables and we also need to select our subscription. So now that we've done that, we've got everything configured, we're good to go. We're going to click save and queue. At this point, we save and run. And we'll fast forward a little bit because this does take time. I'm going to drill into the job agent so you can see it. But we'll, we'll fast forward now. One thing I want to call out here is that the secrets are hidden in our logs. So you get a bunch of stars so you don't actually see any of those values as well as you don't see what the strongest Avenger is. You can also see the plan is to apply three ads, no change, no destroy. If we hop over here to our Azure, you can see that we've got within our Marvel resource group four different key vaults for Avengers. Hopping back into Azure DevOps, we can see that the configuration is valid and now it's going to actually go through and do the apply. Once this apply is complete, I'll show you the result within Azure. And now the paint has dried, so we're going to hop over here into Azure. I will refresh my resource group. Avengers 5 has shown up. I can drill into Avengers 5, go into the secrets. Strongest Avenger is there. And again, we've got our secret. We can show that secret. Wanda is the new value, which you didn't know until now. I'm now going to go back in here again and kind of highlight some key aspects. Again, that secret did not show up. None of the secrets that we had showed up. So we, we are very secure in this manner. It's very easy to do. And this is the, the GUI way in which you can set things up. So very nice way to do it. But you may be wondering, is there a better way? I personally like the YAML version of the pipeline. So I'm going to go in here and click on new pipeline. I'm going to go ahead and say a GitHub in YAML. And we're going to select my repo. I'm going to go ahead and select the starter pipeline, which it kicks out this YAML that's by default. I've already got YAML I'm going to copy and put in here and I'll kind of explain some of the things it's got. So again we had that variables uh, that had the group, a variable group, the Azure Key Vault demo group. I've added that here. The one thing you don't see is the strongest Avenger so we need to go through and add that variable as well. So we go into variables, new variable, tf var strongest Avenger. We'll uh, keep this secret, this value a secret. We can actually go in to our resource group. We're going to go ahead and delete our Avengers 5 resource. And while that's happening we're going to go into the Terraform state and we can see that we've got the Terraform state we're going to go in here and actually delete that as well and once those things are done they 
they actually have been removed. We can go back in and see that we've only got the four. I'm gonna finish out my pipeline here. Let's say okay and save. We can come down and see again. I've got my init that occurred after the uh, installing of the tool. And then after the init, we've got our plan. And finally, we have our apply. And if I go ahead and say save and run, uh, it wants to commit this YAML for us, which is great. That's what we want. But I'm going to go ahead and tell it to create a new branch for this. Uh, and I do not want to start a pull request yet because there may be things I want to figure out on this before I start a pull request. Save and run. It creates the pipeline. And once that gets started, we can drill into the job. And then the job again will go ahead and speed this up a little bit. Okay, again, we're in the Ter Terraform plan. You can see the secrets are stars here, so nothing leaks into your logs. Again, we would have three to add. It validates and says the configuration is good to go. So it's going to go ahead and apply that to our subscription. And the apply is complete. So over here, we'll refresh again. Our Avengers 5 shows up. We can drill into our secrets. Inside there, the strongest Avenger is there again. And... Doctor Strange is the strongest Avenger now. So the great thing about this is that we were able to put a secret into the key vault securely from Azure DevOps with our Terraform that is actually putting our infrastructure out there. So the combination of these tools are really powerful in giving you what you need to be secure. Now you know how to inject your secrets into Terraform Script, keeping your source control repository free of secrets, as it should be. Azure Key Vault is a great tool to keep those secrets and pull them into your applications as needed. Azure DevOps provides a clean and secure way to inject your secrets into your infrastructure. I hope you're able to use these tools. In closing, I want to thank you for watching this episode of Reducing Friction with RunX. You can reach out to me in multiple ways at RunX on Twitter, LinkedIn, or GitHub, at the redhead known as RunX on Facebook, or by visiting my website, runx.com. Let me know your thoughts or share the friction that you're currently facing in the comments below. Here's to a 2021 being a better year for all of us. Until next time, I'm Michael Blevins.